Hi everyone, my name is Timothy Phelan. I'm an audio engineer. I've been mixing and mastering for over 15 years now. Um, and for today, I'm gonna go over Ozone 9's vintage tape, the harmonics slider. Um, we're just focusing on only the harmonics today. Um, the reason I'm putting together this tutorial is because I was having a hard time hearing what this harmonics was doing to my music until I ran this test. Um, and the test is to practice on a pure sine wave. Um, so what I've done, is loaded up um, a track in Logic Pro of EXS24 plugin. Um, by default, it loads a sine wave, so that's good. You need a pure sine wave to run this test. Um, and next, what I have on the mastering chain is Ozone 9. I've loaded up the maximizer, and the maximizer has a spectrum analyzer view. Um, there might be freeware out there that does this. I'm not sure. If anyone knows of any, feel free to comment in the comments section. But what this will do is display the frequency spectrum of what's happening to our music and our sounds. Um, next, so let's go over and disable the vintage tape to start. I'm going to initiate playback, and we're just going to uh, view and listen to the pure sine wave by itself on note C2. Next, I'm jumping over to Vintage Tape. Um, it's good, this has a spectrum analyzer built in as well. Um, I'm gonna enable that and have everything just set at zero to start. And you're going to um, see the harmonics and coloring being uh, starting to be applied. Um, so that was with harmonics at zero. Next, I'm going to initiate playback, and I'm going to bring this slider all the way up to 10, and you will be able to see the changes in the harmonics and the coloring in real time, and you'll also begin to hear its effect on the pure sine wave. So let's do that. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate playback and then just toggle quick, quickly back and forth between 0 and 10. Um, and you should be able to start to hear the change in tone of the sine wave pretty more clearly now. So let's start at 0 and just listen closely as I toggle back and forth between 0 and ex an extreme of 10. So yeah, there's definitely uh, definitely a change in tone happening in there. Um, and now I'm going to change back and forth between 0 and 2. So yeah, not as drastic as a difference between 0 and 10, but I can still now start to hear the difference between 0 and 2. Um, and what's, so what's really cool about this is by practicing on the sine wave over some time, um, it helped my ears develop, and now I can hear way better what this harmonics is doing to full mixes. Um, so let's do that as an example. I have a rock mix pulled up here. Um, I'm just going to play the chorus and... Um, then again, I'm going to toggle quickly back and forth between harmonics of 0 and harmonics of 10. Um, and over time with practice, you should be able to start to hear what this is doing pretty well.
All right. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, lastly, I want to show you what uh, Isotope has on their website about the description of what harmonics is doing to your sound. Um, and they say, harmonics, it adjusts the amount of even order harmonic distortion added to the output signal. Increasing even order harmonic distortion can help to emulate the character of AC bias design in your accuracies or the distortion from machine electronics. Um, that's all they had on their website. So um, I didn't quite understand what that meant. Um, uh, audibly and so I ran this experiment and now I can hear it much better on a sine wave and then I can start to hear the changes of this on actual music um, all right I hope this has been helpful thanks for watching